Dream. Get it. For the first time since they started teaming, Trey and Velveteen Dream make their entrance together. Uh, and they've got brand new matching gear. Looking good. Maybe they've turned a corner as far as their team chemistry goes. It's one thing to wear the same gear as your partner, but the real test is going to be in the ring. If these two are on the same page when it really matters, the Viking Raiders <laughs> Look at Trey's moves. He's clearly been studying Velveteen's entrances. Oh, that time would have been better spent watching film on the Viking Raiders. But what's new? This guy's priorities have been out of whack since day one. To be fair, Corey, Velveteen Dream is known for his eccentric entrances, but always delivers when the bell rings. So why can't Trey do the same thing? Oh, that's easy. He doesn't have the same level of natural talent that Velveteen has. And besides, look at this guy. He looks like a goof out here trying to do Velveteen's mannerisms. If you're gonna put that much effort into your entrance, at least get your own style. Uh, he's just trying to be a good teammate. It's all in good fun. Well, if this is your idea of fun, then that explains a lot. Nonetheless, these two have had an unexpected and impressive run to make it here to the finals. It kind of reminds me of last year when Ricochet and Aleister Black were a somewhat unlikely pairing, and they went on to win the entire tournament. We could see a similar outcome tonight. Uh, highly unlikely. The Viking Raiders have teamed thousands of times all over the world while Trey and Velveteen barely know each other. You can't overstate that kind of advantage. I, I hear you, but look at these synchronized moves. I'm telling you, these two are ready. I, I don't know how to describe what I just saw. I'm just gonna let it go. As this oh wow! Okay. Team classic final match gets underway. Both of these teams look to join a prestigious group of previous winners. We had the first tournament in 2015 included a star-studded field that was won by the team of Samoa Joe and Finn Balor. That's right. Other teams that have their names etched on the trophy include the authors of Pain and the Undisputed Era. Look, I'm sorry, but the team of Trey and Velveteen Dream doesn't belong among the names you mentioned. The Viking Raiders, however, fit quite nicely. Well, before we just go hand out a trophy to anyone, let's see what happens in this match. Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. I'm not sure where he got this much energy, but he's definitely feeling it. What a kick out. Had it scouted. In the corner now. Tag made. Up top. Oh, no. Double stop right across the spine. Oh, uh, if you guys were wondering, no, I did not skip over the Viking Raiders intro. There was no intro. the tag as we've seen countless times over the years superstars oftentimes try to make a statement with their entrance and I think it's safe to say that Velveteen Dream did just that firing at NXT TakeOver Philadelphia yeah and leave it to Velveteen Dream to bring out an entourage prior to one of the biggest matches of his career oh look at this look at the suplex off the top row oh, oh geez take all the wind out of you Well scouted reversal there. Boot right in the jaw. What are they gonna do here? We're about to find out. Or this can't be good. Backbreaker. And it's not over yet. He's absorbed some damage already. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And mm, there we go. Time to get him what he wants. Looking to make a much needed. Yeah, let him make the let him make the tag. Maybe looking at a whole new match here. Itching closer to his partner here. You can talk about being close all you want, Cole, but unless you're talking about horseshoes or hand grenades, it means nothing. Able to get the tag. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, Michael. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. 
Oh, net all the way for the top. Missed by a large margin on that one. Rolling elbow. Woo-wee. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win really needs to get to the corner and make Come it on. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. How impressive was that reversal? Mention of Gucci! Absolutely planted. To elaborate a little more on Velveteen Dream's takeover Philadelphia entrance you guys mentioned. For me, Spear! That was vicious. The opening is there for the taking. Gets out of dodge there. Ooh. Come on, we're almost there. Oh my goodness. There's the objective. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy though, Michael. We might just see it here. And this crowd's starting to perk up, Michael. Oh, and he can't make the tag. He needed that. Get him in the corner. Way. There's, There's the a tag. tag. Going up top. Oh, this is not... Oh, again! He's certainly looking in command at the moment. Great effort. Let's hope he can... Dream Valley Driver! And Velveteen Dream tags Trey! It actually looks like he wants Trey to go to the top rope and hit the Purple Rainmaker! I told you they're on the same page now! What the heck? Oh! Finally, Velveteen Dream has come to his senses. Velveteen Dream has essentially sacrificed Trey to their opponents. He has no chance. It's over. Ah, oh, come on. I get it, yeah, have him screw me over, but you could have had him screw me over, have me take that big hit, let me try to kick out there and try and like win the match on my own. I don't know, I'm just being a sore loser. Really? This is on you, partner. You called the dream out, and you questioned the dream's authenticity. But the dream never needed some repulsive trophy for validation. The dream already knew that there was only one dream, and that is the Velveteen Dream. At one point, I considered letting you win this thing because the dream felt sorry for your desperate need for success, but then, you repeatedly stole the dream spotlight, leeching off the dream's moves, the dream's look, and anything else you can get your hands on. But it's like the saying goes, imitation is the sincerest form of battery. All right, somebody got hit in the head with a microphone by the end of this. All right, I'm happy. I'm good. This is getting ugly. The man's helpless. We need someone to put an end to this right now. Look, I'm by no means advocating what's happening, but you have to admit, Trey brought this upon himself. The moment he mentioned Velveteen Dream's name, he was asking for trouble. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I mean, was that a that a surprising en ending to anyone? I mean, in all honesty, I, expe I, I, I expected Trey to get, get screwed over. But like I said, I, I would have liked to see a... Um, 
to see that moment, you know, it's like I said, you know, you get betrayed, they land that team, you know, they land that team finisher, you know, let you kick out of that pin and then uh, try and win a basically a handicap match. Mostly just because I, I don't know. I, I want Trey to have some success here. Like, come on. Stop giving, you know, I, I, you know, Red just keeps, you know, like, I mean, yeah, granted you got the eye patch, but uh, me, Red, still. Trey, you both have huge matches tonight. Do you have a second to comment? No. Yeah, we do. So Candice LeRae has invoked her rematch clause in an Iron Woman match. Now, after everything you've been through, are you ready for your first NXT women's title defense? Well, considering I'll actually be able to see this time, I think I'm more than ready. Trey, you are going to face Velveteen Dream in the first ever No DQ Spotlight match, where in order to win, you must steal your opponent's finishing move. Now, how have you prepared for this unique stipulation? I haven't had to. I've used his purple Rainmaker before, but he's never used my finisher. And on top of that, I might have another trick or two up my sleeve, because you never know when you might need it. I hate his suitcase, by the way. Yeah, like I said, it just I, I want I want Trey to have something and not just constantly getting kicked in the teeth. Oh jeez. Yeah, you know what, we'll keep going. If this video hits like the two hour mark, I'll probably split it. Uh, you know, I mean, this is kind of like message for future AJ. Uh, you know, I'll probably split it by the end. But that's just that's just for me. Uh, I've been hard on you since you got to NXT, but you've shown you might have what it takes to make it here. Prove it tonight by beating Velveteen. Can't believe Velveteen turned on you like that. Show him you deserve the spotlight. Trey, BTW, might have gotten your name wrong a few times. My bad. Uh, I'm going to be in Orlando next week. Maybe we can finally have that dinner. Oops. All right, now let's be a little more careful. Podcasts. Welcome back to another edition of Women Who Fight with MMA Authority. Hey. Kit Lasko and yours truly, the pro wrestling prognosticator, Robin Ray. Are you really calling yourself that now? Uh-huh, because that's what I do. I prognosticate. You correctly predicted that Red would hold a title within a year of winning the Mae Young Classic, mm -hmm. and now for the last month, you haven't stopped bragging about mm -hmm. it. It's really not a good look. Pfft, whatever. <laughs> oh, but I guess you need to get your bragging in while you can before Red loses her championship back to Candice LeRae in their singles match. Uh, and what makes you so sure that's going to happen? Because Red's had that brutal eye injury, and there's no way she's been able to train consistently. Maybe she could overcome that in a normal match, but not in an Iron Woman match where stamina means everything. Oh, since when are you an expert on stamina? <laughs> you get winded going up my podcast studio stairs. You mean your parents' basement stairs, <laughs> which happen to be very steep. Wow. And I'm an expert because I cover MMA, okay? So I know a lot more than you do about how a fighter's cardio and training can affect the outcome of the fight. Fine, fair enough. And speaking of MMA, I have to mention the article you just wrote about how MMA star Brooklyn Von Braun and Red actually went to high school together. That is such a crazy story. Dude, I know. <laughs> yeah, Brooklyn only had limited time to talk to me because of her busy schedule, okay. but she had some very interesting things to say about Red and her friend Trey. I'll leave it at that. Well, I won't, because at one point, Brooklyn claimed Red used to change in private after gym class because she had three butt cheeks. <laughs> you gotta read the article, people. You gotta read it. It's crazy. All right. Um, no, I've got more. I read those. All right. And looks like... Red's got a couple text messages. Time to update my school's website again. I'm thinking something like Riley Flash, esteemed trainer of May Young Classic winner and NXT Women's Champion Red. Oh, and NXT Superstar Trey. I guess he's doing all right for himself now. Well, anyway, thanks, dude. You keep it up, champ. I got my eye on you. Cause of your eye injury a couple weeks back. Yeah, feel free to use that on TV. Yeah, can I use that uh, that that costume that we used in um, that last match? Because again, I thought that was pretty dope. Uh, glad you're healed up. You uh, 
Why can't I read? You're going to need everything you have to beat Candace. Good luck. Uh, congrats on winning your first of many titles. Now the hard part, keeping it, but something tells me you'll be just fine. Okay. I might have taken you lightly in our last match because you were injured, but I won't make that mistake tonight. If I was able to beat two opponents with only one good eye, what do you think is going to happen when I only have one opponent and my vision back? I think you'll be able to get a real good look at me standing over you with a title. Back. Oh, sorry. I think I might have skipped over something. <laughs> Sweet fanny pack. Thanks. I was kidding. Anyway, what were you talking about having a trick up your sleeve? Well, actually, it's more like a trick down my pants. That sounds incredibly creepy. Yeah, I hear it now. Uh, let me give you a sneak peek. Still creepy. Yeah. Okay, I should rephrase. One of my tricks is I'm gonna wear a special outfit to get in Velveteen's head like he does to his opponents. There's three options I'm considering. Which one should I go with? Nara is a purple American dream, polka dots, tough enough entire. Oh, man. Um. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, nah, I'm going with the boxing shorts. Thanks for your help with that. I'm gonna need every little advantage I can get to defeat him. Wasn't it wasn't tough enough that um, I can't remember what network that aired on. Wasn't it that uh, the reality TV show with Steve Austin and the uh, aspiring wrestlers? If I if if I remember correctly, I think I think there was um. No, there were. I'm trying to remember back when that when I first saw that it was like the first season of that show that I saw. It was um, actually my mom knew somebody who was on that show. Uh, my mom, my mom's a school teacher. I think one of her students was actually on the show. Not sure. It's something like that. I don't know. So what else is new? He's been stealing from Velveteen's playbook for the last month. That's how they ended up here tonight. It's a nice touch, but I think Trey is going to need to do a whole lot more. To yeah, what's with the fanny pack, dude? I don't know about that. He looks like he might be rattled right now. I chalk that up to pure noise more than anything else. How can you tell the difference? After years of putting up with you, I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Well, the time for psychological warfare is over. Let's find out who will prevail in this unprecedented first ever spotlight match. I'm trying to read the back of the shorts. I thought it was like float like a butterfly. Float like a butterfly. I can't remember what the back. Oh, I can't read the other leg. Yeah, can we take the stupid sunglasses off? This no disqualification spotlight match came about when Velveteen Dream felt Trey was, quote, stealing the spotlight from him when they were partners in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Classic. It puts both men in a unique situation. There are no Can't read the, the top part. It's something like a dream. I can't. Does it like fade like a dream? Can't read the goddamn shorts. Turn around. I'm sure he'll handle himself just fine under these conditions. Oh, right up there. Oh. Close line over the top. Man. Leg drop guillotine. Look out here. He's got something cooking. Look out. Oh, elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. Off the ropes. He might have been waiting on that one. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. He's looking a little off balance. He better turn the tide. Extreme rules leave no room for error. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Yeah, we all know he's a guy with great I, It looks like Rise to me. I'm not sure. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you whiplash. It says perform a corner grapple while Velveteen is in the corner. Wait a minute. Isn't that what I just did? Or is it because he was backwards? 
No, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. Uh, boom, what impact. Into the turnbuckles. Oh, saw it coming. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Does it have to be a specific corner? Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. That'll turn your lights out. Big reversal. Been kicked right to the gut. There we go. Velveteen Dream with the reversal. It's only a matter of time before he hits Trey's finisher. Where's Velveteen going? Oh, no. Are those handcuffs? Not again. It appears we're going to have a repeat of what happened after the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Final. And guys, keep in mind, this match is no disqualification. So this is perfectly legal. It might be legal, but it's clear Velveteen Dream's priority isn't winning the match. It's injuring Trey, possibly even ending his career. Hey, this is the match Trey signed up for. He wanted the spotlight. Well, now he's got it. He's gonna, yeah, he's getting the chair. He had a key hidden in his tights. He's unlocking the handcuffs and Velveteen Dream has no Was it that stupid fanny pack? Their very first encounter when Trey handcuffed himself to the ropes and Velveteen had a key. Somehow, Trey actually learned something. Velveteen still has no clue that Trey is free. Velveteen Dream. I never thought I'd see that happen. And now Trey with the steel chair. This is a huge turning point in this match. Trey has now gained complete control over Velveteen Dream. Boom! <laughs> Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, he's going for going for that. Stomping down. Oh. He just cannot be caught. He's looking banged up here, guys. We're standing strike where he's near the barricade to the right of the ring. Um Okay. Great one on one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. Perhaps he's thinking the ring can't contain what he has in I think it's over in this direct I believe. Boom right in the button. Oh again. He's one step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Is it over here? I hate these location challenges. And now Trey and Velveteen Dream are brawling at ringside. Or not challenges, these little location objectives, let me rephrase. What's Trey doing with that fanny pack? And Trey nails Velveteen Dream with it. Velveteen's out cold. What, what the heck was inside that thing? Rocks. Answer, real honorable, Trey. Now you said it yourself. This match is no disqualification, so that was perfectly legal. Yeah, and I'm also. I also like when you're like, you know, it's oh, real honorable. The dude handcuffed me to the ropes. Lightning fast reflexes. All right, so to perform his finisher, I need to get my, uh, I think it's the payback meter. That connected. I think that was harder than the first time. Hit me with a freaking baseball bat. I'm just going to apparently just sit here on the ground. Come on, try it again. This match's brutality starting to show on him. 
Extreme rules Come on, try it again. And it's catching up with him. Come on. Or let me get up. Avoiding trouble there. Oh. That connected. I think that was harder than the first time, Cole. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, he's really taking it to him. Man, this is not good at all. Got the all. Uh -oh. Turning the momentum to his favor. He's a ball of energy right now, but we'll see if it lasts. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. That's unique, Corey. And uh, suplex. Just sending a message there. Oh, come on. Doing some more damage here. Michael, that is so dangerous. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. All right. Finds a way to reverse. I'm trying to remember exactly how that... How that payback works. Death Valley Bomb. We're undoubtedly nearing the end. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. Oh, wow. Meet him at the pay window. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Flying. And didn't even let me reverse that one. Off the ropes. Oh, he knew that was coming. An impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Whoa, it's another reversal. Launched with a belly to belly. All on the apron, lifting it up into the ring. Bam! Suplex. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look at this. Big, uh. bigger impact. Okay, so do I need a finisher to... I, I never use the move, Thief. Finisher, so... I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Setting up again. Okay, so apparently I don't need the. Uh... They can just punch him in the chest. Looking vulnerable now, guys. I guess I don't need the the payback to. So do I just have his? Do I just have his finishers equipped? Yes, I do. Okay. Well, then I don't have to worry about anything. Right to the back. His offense is on point right now. Yeah, he's a superstar that can flip the switch and get after you. I think he just punched him in the chest. Saw what he had in mind there. Wow, what a sequence. What impact! No, oh, that's not right. Somebody do something about that. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, what a counter. Close line over the top row. All the way to the floor.
You know what? Now, now that I'm thinking about it. Do I have his his signatures? Okay. I thought Move Thief only gave you the only gave you a finisher. I didn't think it gave you everything. Apparently it gives you every. It apparently gives you every move. Huh. All right, I had a misunderstanding of that skill. Uh, ringside, it's just gonna be an elbow drop. Or a, okay, now we gotta get him back into the ring. Bringing it back into the ring. It's like I said, it's a, it, it is not a skill I use. Anticipated that attack perfectly. That was wow, running leg drop bulldog. Great ups. Interesting move here, taking the match to the outside. He's going for it all. Here comes another one. A couple of months ago, Trey hijacked an NXT broadcast desperate for the spotlight. Well, after this huge victory over Velveteen Dream, he's now earned it. I don't think it was his plan from the beginning, but it certainly worked out in his favor. Hold on, maybe Velveteen Dream isn't ready to concede the spotlight just yet. He's got that loaded fanny pack that Trey used earlier. What are we witnessing? Is this some kind of strange sign of respect from Velveteen Dream? It's almost like yeah, the it's... around the Trey's waist. That was so that was a little odd. A huge win for Trey tonight. All right, there we go. There we go. A, ni a nice spot in, in Trey's career. There we go. That's what. That's all I was asking for. All right. Yeah, I'm, I I gotta skip these intros. Sorry. We're, I'm I've almost been recording this video for about two hours. About at this point. So let's get let's get this show on the road. Not complaining about the length of this uh, of this chapter in the campaign. I've actually really enjoyed this one so far. So far, I think we're pretty much at the end. But uh, but yeah, I mean, I've I've really enjoyed this one. Ah, oh, crap! We gotta do. NXT Women's Champion. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting her title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Kind of like having to do commentary with you, Saxton. Dangerous situation here, guys. Come on. I really get I, I really gotta work on on Red's reversals. This isn't good. again! Standing sheer noy. I love that move. Hammerlock applied. Oh no no. Uh oh. Oh it's gonna break an arm. Challengers a little worse for wear now. From what I'm told, she trained harder than ever for this match. But what this shows right here is something I've long suspected. There's just no way to prepare yourself for the rigors of an Iron Man match. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Not sure how long she can keep it up, but she is fired up right now. Guys, I've talked with superstars who've competed in Iron Man matches, and each and every one of them said that there's almost no preparing for the grueling nature of this contest. We aren't, uh, aren't Iron Man matches in real life, aren't they, um, what, hour? Isn't that what it is? Not the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh, 
Trap the arm. Neck breaker. So smooth. The champ to the top turnbuckle. Whoa! To the top diving center. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Uh-oh. No way! Good God! Inverted Frankensteiner! Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard! Oh. And here we go! Come on, our debuff's gone. Not what she was looking for. Boom! What a throw! Boom! Oh, oh, what impact! Can they get the grip locked in? She's got her where she wants her. Damn it, I ran out of stamina. I almost had it a few times. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Up and down. That was incredible. She turns it around. Oh! You know, not technically for the championship, for one point, but whatever. All clocked in, the cross face. She better do something fast. She somehow breaks free, but you have to wonder how much damage was done. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Oh, punch. That's how you stop your opponent. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. And now that one's countered. That was impressive, my boy. Producing a trampling. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh. All right, all right. I'm just going to let the stamina build a little bit. Pick her up. Punch. And get her on the buzz killer again. In the cross face. Battling to get the upper hand. Damn it. She's out. Again, my problem, I, had no, I ran out of stamina. Like her night was over, too. That is a great reversal. Stamina come back. Her arm's already damaged a little bit. She's calling for it. Go with the octopus stretch. Uh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. Really? It was called you, you called an octopus stretch. You, you called an octopus stretch in the uh, in the triple threat match. I thought I had the Black Widow equipped, but stringing together some big moves here. She's a live wire right now. Get out of her way. Inverted suplex. Like I said, I thought I had the Black Widow equipped as my as my finisher, not an octopus stretch, but you know whatever. I could have been wrong. 
locked in. This might be it. Ah, damn it. I always miss the orb. There may be no beating her here tonight. There it is. And I'm debuffed, so I can't. Near fall after near fall. What a battle. Oh, able to counter. Single leg drop kick. That's wearing down the opponent. This might be it. She's out. She escapes the hole. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. Wow, she turned that one around. And again, yet another counter. Oh, step up in Zigari. Oh, what a cross face. Battling to get the upper hand. Not so fast, she breaks it. Yeah, but it's gotta just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. <laughs> Look out, guys! Standing sea fire! Oh, man! And she's back in the ring now. There it is. Hit the mark with that one. Yeah, I can't reverse that move. Well, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. And gonna go for the finisher again. Problem is, she's got no stamina. Damn it! Late in the match, and she is scored. And now looking to get it locked in. She's got her where she wants her. like her night was over too. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. She is just too quick. Got out of the way in a hurry. All right, we can try and try and mess with our, fin with our submissions in a little bit, but. Son of a bitch. <laughs> What's it going to take? I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. Kick right to the knee. Right on the patella. LeRae's not playing around now. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. And again, I can't counter their fin her finishers. Oh, in the cross face. Battling to get the upper hand. And I can't get... Oh, 
She scores big with the counter. Oh, what a hit. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. I don't know how she keeps kicking out. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Oh, foot just stomping down. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. I don't have time to try and build my stamina back. Got the cross face applied. She's got her where she wants her. Look at that. She escapes. Talk about coming up clutch, guys. Saw that one coming. Yeah, I don't have enough time. Bad landing. Elusive movement there. She wants to finish this. Spear! Now that is why they're the champ. I'm not sure Candace is going to be able to continue. And that's a fall for the champion. Candace LeRae with a beautiful counter. Ducks out of the way there. Whoa, it's another reversal. And now that one's counted. That was impressive, Michael. And now I just got to sit here and take it for another 30 seconds because I'm not going to be able to get a pin. Come on. Let's go. Guys, in Red's short reign as NXT Women's Champion, she's already successfully defended her championship on several occasions, but never in a match like this. Putting her title on the line in an Iron Woman match is essentially like defending it multiple times in one night with no break in between. It can be extremely taxing, to say the least. Kind of like having to do commentary with you, Saxton. What are we going to see here? Hung up on the second row. Just a relentless attack on the head here. Oh, it's like the thing has a target on it or something. She returns the favor there. Uh -oh. Got the off. Oh, my goodness. Crushing it. Look at this. Snap suplex. All right, now we just keep oh, focusing damage. The challenger eating up some damage. Nobody competes in a match of this nature without paying some sort of a price, Cole. And as far as punishment goes, this isn't something that she can't overcome. Hammerlock applied. Oh, no, no. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Ah, it's going to break her arm. She is just dominant right now. We'll see how long she can keep it up. The, oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh, to the arm, terrible! Uh-oh. Phoenix Flash! And then, boom! Oh. Short DDT, we're just gonna keep punishing the arm. Applied. Oh no no! Just trying to get, uh, just trying to make it so that Black Widow's got a yeah, good chance of landing. Oh, stomping away! Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. And another 
chair reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. And Damn it. Looks like she's got a new lease on life here, Cole, but can she capitalize? Oh, I'm not sure because I, I have some distance on uh, going for the spear. Oops. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll get an early pin. I'm not sure Candace is going to be able to continue. There we go. Like dirty pin with with red so that I can put my feet on the or is that with Trey that I got dirty pin? Can't remember now. I know it was just the beginning of the video, but that was two hours and fourteen minutes ago. She's definitely dazed now, guys. Yeah, her head's taking the blood on this attack. Look at this. The assault continues. If this keeps up, and the attack continues above her shoulders. I don't know how much more of this she can take, Cole. Watch this here. Yeah, I keep getting debuffed. This is getting tough to watch, Michael. She's definitely dazed now, guys. Yeah, her penalty is stunned. Not just stunned, Michael, but in some major pain as well. Reverses, can she take advantage? Ryan suplex. Goes into the pin. Two count. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Candice LeRae with a beautiful counter. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. She's got her where she wants her. Got her. There we go. A little bit of revenge. She can take Cole. She saw the opening and got the shoulder up. She got out of the way there. Her evasion techniques are on point. Whoa, not so fast. Uh, more abuse to the neck area. This is getting tough to watch, Michael. Oh, she turns it around. She's calling for it. Oh, Black Widow! Locked in tight. This might be it. The defending champion scores. In there we go. Three points. Hooked up. I feel like in this match, I'm making up for all the submission chances that I've lost out on. Oh, 
Uh-oh, in the crutches. She's got her where she wants her. Ah, crap. And she's able to break out of it. The lesson to learn here, Cole, is that you can never count her out. Um. The hell? I think I'm stuck. I'll cut to when this fixes itself. Well, I just sat around for about five minutes. She got her. Unbelievable. What an historic Iron Woman match. Here is your winner. Yeah, I had that happen while I was playing in Universe. Uh, I think I was, I was doing a, a Money in the Bank match and somebody just stood in the corner in that, that exact same uh, counter, actually. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. That's a title match you're going to be talking about for ages, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, it is finally over. Uh, in all honesty, I, I really did. I, I enjoyed that. Uh, I, I enjoyed that um, <laughs> lower arm picture. Um, no, I, I really did. I enjoyed. I enjoyed that. Uh, I can't think of the goddamn word. I enjoyed that chapter. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I thought there was, you know, it was a good story. Both characters had something to do that were separate from each other. You know, it wasn't just a, a red heavy chapter or a tray heavy chapter. No, both of them had something there. Uh, the writing was good. I thought it was fun. I just, you know, all, all in all, that that was exactly what I wanted. It was great. Uh, much better than the last chapter. I'm really glad that the game stepped it up after that last one. Like I said, I thought that last one was really weak, in my opinion. But uh, whatever, nobody's asking me. Either way, guys, we're going to uh, close out here. I want to say, as always, thank you so much for watching. Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com. Links to all that stuff is down in the description below. Please remember to like, comment if you're not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, have I mentioned that uh, social media, that is Facebook, Twitter, the website, Minds.com, and now BitChute are all down, linked in the description. I already said like, comment, you're not already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you haven't figured it out by now, this was split, this was done all in one session, split into two videos. We will be back with uh, chapter nine, I think it is, is the next one, uh, in the next video, but I want to say until then, guys, my name is AJ Gales, this is the Gaming Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.